Okay, we continue where we left, left off in the previous tutorial. We have Budgie installed. We could make it a little bit nicer as well. We are on VirtualBox, so we can tell him to resize, count to three, and that's even faster than normal. So it's already okay. Control F is going to maximize full screen. And here we have on my right screen of complete full uh, Budgie. So that's what we've done. We've installed a proper Budgie, not the Git version, the, the Arch uh, repository budgie and we are now going into detail about this this thing we've made why why this github eric you made us install a github why so i told you that it might be interesting to use arch merge and then i don't know anymore so this is your github and you go to your own place your own personal sign in and sign up and free github and there's one repository and it's called arched merged budgie dismiss this and the, the fun of it is you can share this with me and i can say you made the typo there or i can say why not do it this way and so on you can look at my scripts and say oh i'm gonna copy paste that code that's a nice uh, piece of code and that's the idea share the knowledge with the others of arch merge and do it via github because it makes life so much easier you can just click on here and see what i've done i've done sudo pacman minus s firefox okay that's how we did it okay so let's get this one and let's work on it because it, this doesn't include our installation we just made difficult um, lines to get budgie in there and it's not in here so let's first clone it so we, i'm gonna click here which is gonna copy this one and now well let's do have some order i have always um, the idea of making a folder the question is where is here is the folder right mouse click new folder and we could give it the name of my github it's probably your name or your alias or your avatar or anything like that and then you say here right mouse click open internal it's not termite but it's okay we have a terminal and then you're gonna say git clone because git git uh, excuse me is installed Control shift v and that's what you do you clone things from me from other arch mergers and you clone it to your system and then you're gonna look and say What's this? What's this? What's he doing? And now we are in a graphic environment. I could teach you the same in a black environment, meaning starting from an arch merge base in black. Yeah. But let's do it this way. And we can edit this, double click it, and I have installed Mousepad for you. Nice little editor from XFCE. And you mentioned, you forgot to mention also Chromium, my friend. Damn. Ah. So Chromium should be installed as well and so on you can add stuff to it as long as it goes and when it's not readable for you anymore just press enter and start again here with i don't know uh, another two thing i do like is melt it's another program that is uh, really easy to compare so you have your github you have another github and you compare these two folders or two files and you say ah oh, that's the difference i made a typo there okay so let's program melt for you. Control S save. So I have now, this is my GitHub. This is your GitHub and you can change it. And of course you want to push it back. So it's changed, but it's not changed here. If you take a look at this one, it's not changed here. Furthermore, let's be precise. This is no longer Firefox. This is going to be browsers. Like so because it contains two browsers and melt as well okay forget melt okay Control x save and then you make Control c Control v and we say install utilities okay and let's put melt in here oops 
Let's type it again. I have lost it. So sudo pacman minus s melt. An interesting thing for you to know. Maybe it's interesting to say sets minus e. Why? It actually tells the script to stop if something is wrong. Don't keep going and then do the next one and the next one and the next one. Stop. And then you see what's wrong and, and you can um, find out the line that it's stopped and fix it. So set minus one. Uh, e, sorry. Okay. So this one, can we run this thing, Eric? Show us, show us. Okay. Open in terminal and then you install. Install what? The browsers. And it's going to do this thing. It's asking a lot of questions. You want me to install it? Yep. Oh, okay, it's good. And it's installed. Chromium as well. Installation done. Let's have a look. Internet, Chromium, Firefox. Check. Oh, nice. So install the other thing. What was it? Utilities. It's going to be melt. Don't really know where that one will be. Not here, not there, not there. Programming, of course. Yeah. Melt diff viewer. So the differences between a directory and or a file. So we are starting to make our own scripts, but they're not online. There's no backup. Nobody can see them. They're here on my virtual box. And eventually we'd like to install it on SSD and reuse those scripts. So, okay, fine. This is the first time you ever installed um, or made a clone on your system. So you need to run this once, the setup. Well, it's still open here. Present working directory. We are in Arch Merged. Uh, no, we're not. We should CD in Arch Merged. And now we're in, inside the folder. So basically what I did was press right mouse click open terminal. Okay, so we are in there. And we should run just once setup. But don't forget, you should change your setup to the proper thing. If you made a copy from my GitHub, then you should make sure that it's your name in here and your mail in here. Otherwise, we'll get trouble. OK, that changed. Fine. Then you can run your setup just once. You'll ask the password from your PC. And that's it, the end. And now let's have a look. Did anything change here? Of course not. That's just setting it up. What do we need to do? We need actually to push it and it's going to actually pull it first and then push it. And then you say, I've made my browsers and I've made my utilities. You can type whatever you want. It's just comments, but you'll see where it ends. And then you have to know, of course, your own login, which in my case is Arch Merged, and a long password. Voila, done. You just read ahead, it just says it's okay. And then you just refresh. And here you have to install browsers, Firefox and Chromium with the set minus E. And here you have the utilities with the set minus E and melt. So clear, this thing can crash. My things are already online and nobody can take them away from me. Okay, so on my SSD, I'm gonna git clone this one and run the browsers again and run the utilities again. So that's how we proceed. And in the next tutorial, we'll make our budgie uh, script. Okay, this was just for educational purposes.